I've been looking on the internet for the most clickbait TikTok Minecraft hack, and I think I've found a pretty good list. So what am I gonna do? We're gonna put them to the test and see if they're true or if they're clickbait. <laughs> what we got going on with this first one? This dude is building a, 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 a what? It's a, okay, there is no, no absolute way. All right, so we have our ancient debris and then we're placing down a piston and then an in rod on the piston. Okay, I'm gonna do exactly what he did with the redstone and everything, ready? I feel like I'm getting trolled. Hold on, hold on. Okay, what if I try moving the piston closer so the in rod actually goes in it like this? What the f Flip. Yeah, that's a false. That's some clickbait right there. All right, so this dude is digging out a bunch of ground. I have absolutely no idea what he's about to do. He's digging down two layers deep. Okay. Placing down a ton of iron. I don't really understand what the iron is for, but maybe we'll he'll explain it in a sec. Then he puts obsidian in the hopper, and then he covers it with stairs and water. And now he's shooting arrows at it, and they're Bouncing off? Huh? Oh, oh, he made like a crazy waterfall. What the heck? We're about to make some really weird waterfall thing. I have absolutely no idea what he just built, but we're gonna try our best to replicate it. All right, he puts down a piston and a slime block. I'm not putting the iron down. I feel like it's a waste of iron. Yes, I know I'm in creative mode. And then he covers it in obsidian. Okay, so far so good. And then places down a comparator and then makes these two hoppers talk to each other like that and then puts a piece of obsidian in there. Oh, okay. So that part works. And then he places stairs around the entire thing. Bro, this is uh this is a weird Minecraft hack, all right? And then he drops in a bunch of water at every corner. There we go. Okay, so you can see the slime block is coming down. The water replaces it and just keep it's doing its thing. And then you just start spamming this. So far, so good. It, it, it is working. It is working. I don't know how. Now, you do have to use arrows of night vision, by the way, to get that blue effect of the arrows. We did it. I, I don't really know the point of this. It kind of looks like a really fancy waterfall. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, well this works. This is not clickbait. Let's go on to the next one. We got another clickbait hack here. So this dude is going underground. Wait, everyone knows that trick. Wait, I did not know that trick. But apparently this dude found a much better way to glitch through the world. He puts a potion of night vision in there. Okay, and then a glowing ink sack. What? And then he has a glowing potion. What did he just, what did he just, cra what did this bro just craft? He drinks it and it highlights all diamonds and emeralds. Okay, there is no flipping way. Nah, nah, I do not believe that one bit at all. All right, so we have our brewing stand, right? Okay, so he drops in the potions, drops in a magma, and then a glowing ink sack. Uh, bro, bro. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't put a glowing ink sack in a brewing stand. All right, so this is absolute clickbait. Literally, it will not let me put the ink sack in the brewing stand, probably because the item doesn't belong in there, just like you can't put a brewing stand inside of a brewing stand. So that is completely false and completely clickbait. All right, this next one is pretty epic. So there's a fox in there, and he gives him a totem of undying, kills him, and then the fox... What? You're telling me a fox can use a totem of undying? All right, well, I guess let's try this and see if it actually works. We'll make a double high fence, just like he did. We'll drop in a fox spawner. Okay, so we got our fox in here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him one time, and then I'm gonna drop him this totem. Let's see if he grabs it. He actually grabbed it. Look, it's not in my inventory. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill him. Oh, what? What? He used it! I mean, he didn't have two of them, but still, what the flip? All right, so that is not clickbait. All right, this is how to get a zombie horse in Minecraft. First, you have to put a zombie and a normal horse together in a cage. Then you have to make the zombie and the horse stand in each other. What? The zombie will sit on the horse. 
It's apparently not very easy to do. The zombie sits on the horse and what? I didn't know this is how zombie horses were made. I'm gonna spawn in a horse and a zombie. All right, so all I gotta do is wait for this zombie to sit on that horse. Oh wait, he's going straight towards the horse. Wait, does the horse need a saddle? I don't know, do zombies need saddles? <laughs> I don't, I don't flip it, no. Just sit on it. Let's get multiple zombies in here, so that way we have a higher chance. This might take a second, but... Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Go sit on him. Don't be nervous. Don't be shy. He's not gonna hurt you. Sit on the horse. All right, so I've been at this for uh, about seven minutes now, and um, no progress yet. Bro, someone just sit on him! All right, I'm just gonna spawn a ton of zombies, and eventually one of these dudes has to sit on this horse. All right, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I've been doing this for 15 minutes, and I don't think it works. Try this in your Minecraft world and see if it works. I could not get it to work, so I'm gonna consider this one false. All right, so this dude is building a double end portal. Okay, wait. Okay, first off, I can tell you that that is definitely not going to work. None of this is going to work. What the flip? No. No, that doesn't, no. no. Okay, wait, I kind of want to try the piston one. That looks interesting. All right, ready? <laughs> what the flip? All right, so this dude is building uh, some grass, a lot of grass, and then he spawns in a bunch of flowers, and then he drops in a bunch of sand. Okay, 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 okay. And then he is going to delete all of the grass, which makes the sand float. We can try that. We're not gonna build it as big as his, but we will, there we go. We got like a little, you know, four by five, six looking square thingy, my bobber. Okay, so pretty simple. He places down the flowers and then he places down the sand. Well, um, yeah, that does not work, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna, yep, that one's a false. That one's clickbait. Minecraft life hack. This dude is building a rail system under water? No, no flipping way. No flipping way. Okay, so he used a powered rail and then he had one and, oh, you can. Okay, okay, this might change my mind. This might change my mind a little bit here. So he used redstone, and then he takes the powered rail underwater, and then he used soul sand. We're gonna do a smaller distance than what he did, and then another piece of redstone, and then connects the track. So, I'm sorry, what? Okay, so somehow, yeah, what? He places down a minecart, he rides it, what? The minecart bounces across, and then catches the track on the other side. All right, mine carts in. Let's see if it works. Ready? Oh, no flipping way. Wait a second. It, it's just stuck in the middle. It worked for a second, and this is a lot shorter of a distance. Oh, no, it just gets stuck. It just gets stuck in the middle. I can't move or anything. Yeah, no, I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go back there, buddy. Go back there, buddy. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, so if you get out and give it a push, it, it will do it. But then again, if you get out and you push a minecart, it, it's honestly gonna push on any surface. So, I mean, this is kind of cool. It, it kind of works, kind of doesn't. I'm gonna consider it a false, though. All right, so this dude built a big hole. He is... I don't really know what he's doing. What is this? Oh, is it? Oh, it's an armor stand switcher. Oh, yo, wait. I've always wanted to know how to build one of these and I didn't think it would be that easy to build one. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I hope this one works. All right, so he places down a piece of redstone with redstone dust on top and then a redstone torch. Pretty simple. And then he places down a sticky piston with a slime block and then another piece of obsidian with redstone dust right there. And then another redstone torch. Are you kidding me? That's it? That's literally how easy it is? All right, so now you just gotta cover it all up just like so. And then you have a trap door with a button. Fred, you gotta be kidding me. Are you Fred? That's literally how easy it is. You place an armor stand on here. 
It drops it down. Place another armor stand. Drops it down. No! Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. So all I got to do is press the button and it brings out the gold armor. I press it again. It brings out the diamond armor. Are you kidding me? That's how easy it is to build an armor stand switcher. I thought these things were always super complex and super hard to build, but this is a true one. And guys, build this in your house. This is sick. Did you know? Okay, so this dude placed down a diamond block and a dirt block and a stone block. I'm confused on what he's doing here. He, wait a second. Nah, 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 no way, no way. No way. Then he drops it. I, I am definitely getting trolled. All right, so he drops in the sword, and then he grabs a potion, and it has to be a splash potion, okay? So we had two potions here. So let's drop in this one first. <laughs> oh, I'm so getting trolled right now. Yeah, there's no flipping way this is gonna work. That is false. That is false. You can't change the color of a sword with a potion. I just got trolled, okay? I just got absolutely trolled. All right, so this dude just put... Nah, bruh. I don't believe that one bit, but we'll try it. All right, we're going into a cave system. I need to find a lava pit, okay? He did it right next to a lava pit, so I will do the exact same thing. Okay, so he placed down the composter right here. And then he's going to stand in it like so. And then puts a... There we go. Oh, wait, what? Whoa! I didn't think it would actually work. So I don't see any diamonds. Actually, actually, I do see diamonds right there. And normally I would not be able to see that. I'm looking through the wall. I can see coal under the lava. I can see this iron. I can see the redstone over there that I couldn't see before. No flipping way. And guys, I am in 1.17.1 version of Minecraft, the newest version of Minecraft, and it works. Are you flipping... Okay, let me see if it works not next to lava. I wonder if it only works next to lava. All right, so now I'm just in a cave system. Let me drop in here. There we go. Put that on my head. No! What? It doesn't have to be next to lava. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I can see a creeper over there that I normally would not be able to see. I can see him straight through the wall. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that would actually work. Okay. All right. Well, that is completely true. All right. Minecraft 1.17 duplication glitch. This dude has a crazy netherite sword and he is... What? He changes the name to Nightmare. And then it... Ha! Huh? Wait, so you have to cover your inventory in dirt? Nah, I don't know if I believe this one, okay? I don't know about that. I think you have to name the sword Nightmare. I think he's just doing that to show you that you have to rename it. But let's go ahead and try it. All right, so we have an anvil right here. I'm gonna drop in my netherite sword. I'll even call it Nightmare as well. We got Nightmare, okay? And I need to cover my entire inventory in dirt. Now we just got stacks and stacks of dirt. And then, boom. Um, doesn't work. I didn't think that would work. <laughs> Thank you guys though for watching this Minecraft hacks and glitches video. If you guys want to see more, leave a like on this video. Until then, I'll see you next time. Also, click that subscribe button for your boy, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.